गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स डॉक्टर एस पी सिंह जी फॉर्मर वाइस चांसलर गुरु नानक देव यूनिवर्सिटी डॉक्टर अरविंदर सिंह जी प्रिंसिपल ऑफ द कॉलेज डॉक्टर सुषमिंदर कौर एंड ऑर्गेनाइजर्स डॉक्टर हरगुनजोत कौर पैनलिस्ट पार्टिसिपेंट्स असेंबल्ड इन द वेबिनार आई एम प्रोफ्यूजली थैंकफुल टू यू फॉर अफोर्डिंग मी एन अपॉर्चुनिटी to address this international workshop on skill development we are meeting under the threat of uh, coronavirus and who knows this is the beginning of a new future and if it is so all that we had planned for ourselves needs a severe review i am talking of the skill development also because uh, india always felt proud that it was the largest exporter of skilled semi skilled or even unskilled workforce but in the situations that are unfolding there is an implicit threat of our people losing jobs and making a beeline for their home country however i think we are expected here to believe that nothing such will happen that jobs will be available and people have to be skilled in different fields to meet the demand demand i again emphasize is dipping every moment and corona has made irrelevant everything that we had designed with such care when we look at the available resources there is a holistic talk about honing the working efficiency of the young aspirants so that they are available to meet different needs of the growing economy at home and abroad the mission statement for skill development wants a rapid scale up of skill development efforts by creating an end to end outcome focused implementation framework which aligns demands of the employers for a well trained skilled workforce with aspirations of the indian citizens for sustainable livelihoods it is our objective to incorporate skilling in school curriculum and providing training at school level align employer demand and workforce productivity with trainees aspirations for sustainable livelihoods establish cross sectoral standards for skill development and build skill development capacity in unorganized sectors such as construction sector and develop a network of quality trainers offer a passage for overseas employment enable pathways for transitioning between vocational training system and the formal education system it's very good idea through credit transfer promote convergence and coordination between skill development efforts of all ministries and implementing agencies support weaker and disadvantaged sections of society through focused outreach programs and maintain an lmis in labor market information system a portal for matching the demand and supply of skilled workforce and financing of course comes at the end i look at uh, friends i look at skill development from a bit different angle no doubt it is the utter need of the art that every growing up young man should learn some art and be trained in it i think we are treating the symptoms and not hitting at the basic issues of our educational policy as well we waste 20 years of a student in an elusive study of arts and then he does ma the question comes up why how many are real scholars interested in studies if there are 10% 90% people are taking up subjects of lesser choice because they find a career in these subjects what is career now career means employment so ultimately the end of education too is to find a job and we are trying hard to make our education job oriented skill development is an offshoot of this very idea 
to focus entirely on skill development so that we can land one's hand on a job because the concomitant part of skill development is creating employment opportunities in connect with industry and employers i pose a question here how many people from india have made new discoveries or innovations in the field of science and technology the answer obviously is a minuscule minority which includes ramanujam and harbin kurana maybe one or two more now the other question is why why our youngsters cannot make discoveries and innovations we have talent we have genius look at the silicon valley and see and you will see what india means in terms of intellectual merit but they are only making it big for themselves or for their adopted country what big they have done for humanity or even for their motherland kalpana chawla is a big name but it is again by passive intervention she was member of an american crew one has to pose this question too why people in america and canada are so progressive and when indians go there they too become progressive but only to fill their own pockets to land at high jobs and make millions their talent goes waste because either it is used for another country or it is not used at all in the race for wealth we have come to a clear position now which can be easily understood what is hampering the indian youth what stalls their thinking systems what clogs their energies what brings them to a halt when they must be at terrible speed it is our inhibiting indian system of services every intelligent boy in any class when asked what you want to become says ias pcs ias has become the dream of the intelligent youth for decades and every child who is studying in a college has most sacred dream nokri in the past they entered the military and now service sector reason why these people prefer jobs because of the comfort zone we don't want to teach our youth to enter challenging areas rather want them to join services become teachers or bank employees this is a third rate position which has been highly elevated in indian society if you want to marry of your daughter the son in law must be in a regular job and the bride groom also looks for a bride who is in service so that after marriage together they can start procreating and have a family and that is all with our youth i question all these beliefs of this society skill development is related to the third degree positions or even the fourth degree where we have hordes of bas and ms who are made ineligible for manual work all of them want white collar jobs and they are after government to give them jobs this is the result of wrong policies long wrong priorities and wrong philosophies also youth is the reservoir of energy fancy imagination and a breathtaking impulse to take challenges our teaching and job systems sanitize them of all these passions and make them settle in a job or they are suffering from maladjustment in families for years average indian youth have no passion for creative learning they don't want to explore their minds they don't want to take up new issues research new fields come up with new discoveries there is no passion for innovation no fashion beyond a teacher's job let me bring the whole issue to a clear view our passion for is we think the highest position is highly misplaced service is a second hand sector service is a second hand sector the most important sector is creation 
thinking exploration and the best minds must be directed towards creation and the first thing the government should do is to pick up students and give them a chance where they want to work let them struggle with their minds their vision and come up with newer things discoveries and innovations government job should be not to teach them not to train them but watch them from a distance and provide them a tension free 10 years to work out their dreams this should be the elite of the country we don't have this class at all in our society service sector should be the second uh, sector the is the second rate students who are not disturbed with creative thoughts students who are not disturbed with creative thoughts can go for is because they believe in getting orders from above and giving the orders below no more than conduit pipes it is considered an elite service but quite wrongly because of the benefits these people are enjoying doing nothing except fulfilling the dreams of somebody else they have no dreams of their own i consider it an intellectually poorest class their benefits they enjoy must go to the elite body the creative genius which is non existent now the third sector is the people the millions the ill groomed ill baked graduates and post graduates and it graduates from private and semi private and government colleges and institutions who have no focus who have only one focus job 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 once they get a job they marry get children and then bury themselves in the household even after getting jobs where is their skill development do they really contribute anything to society on whose bounty they are enjoying here i would like to add that the colleges are producing average students i'm sorry uh, we are talking in a college i would like to add that the colleges are producing average students and this is also the case of schools who are fit for nothing except adding to the queues of the unemployed the government is facing the flag of these unemployed army armies simply because they gave them wrong capsules in the schools and colleges our education system still believes in bhel puri of education little bit of this little bit of that give him something of this subject so that at the end he is a mix up of nonsense he doesn't know what he has really acquired if a student now here is a particular example please uh try to understand this example if a student gets 98% marks in physics 70% marks in mathematics and 60% marks in chemistry in matriculation once again i say 98% in physics 70% in mathematics and 60% in chemistry in matriculation the wisest parents would tell him you are also one of them we are also one of them we will tell them go to the best coaching class for chemistry read their 6 months and for 3 months go to mathematics teacher they don't find it necessary that he should go to the physics also teacher also and here is the result chemistry from 60 to 70% marks in mathematics from 70 to 80% marks because they were getting coaching and in physics which they ignored and they should not have ignored it from 98 to 81% so ultimately look at this achievement we have made him average he was a prodigy in physics but our school system wants him to study english which is already very good and local language which he already knows but we must waste his time educational institutions are averaging instruments and make sure that best minds are confused thoroughly because this country needs people who are confused maybe it is some conspiracy that should have students only going for services let the best minds think of is and pcs and then nobody would be left trying for the stars the fourth sector is the unorganized labor 
force the object of government skill development program these people are really the hands and legs of our growing civilization they have no brains no education no facilities and they eat it all away in the evening meal what they earn during the day and if they don't get a job they either die of starvation or turn to crime dear friends i think the focus of entire system of education training and skill development is lopsided there is an urgent need to address the system jobs are needed but if we create entrepreneurs they will provide jobs and the pressure on the government will be less the real skill development should stretch backwards to 10th class or 12th by identifying students what they want to do helping them in their dreams and doing away with ba ma and service mindset let us make a paradigm shift from service consciousness to creative job creation systems we need to change the mindset of the people to turn away from the idea of jobs and start working in the field having their own system instead of getting enslaved in other systems service sector is a large sector very large sector but mind it all those engaged in it lack the wings of imagination and that is why india is counted as the biggest exporter of skilled workforce but we lack the quality work that makes a country truly great we lack that first layer of the elite the creative genius which we must cultivate thank you very much